What's going on everyone? Ryan back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how J hooks work and how circle hooks work and what's the difference between the hookup ratio. First things first, I'm going to show you how the J hook works. Now the J hook, as you can see, it's not circular like a circle hook would be. It's pointing right here, it's straight out. Circle hook's point would be pointed in. Got a cup right here. Say this is the fish's mouth and this is the bait. The fish is going to grab it, and when he starts swimming away with it, you just want to yank back like that, and it'll hook him, and when he starts shaking around, that hook ain't going to come out. Just like that. And how you get it out is, what you want to do is you want to take the shank right here, and you want to take your hand, and you just want to pop it out just like that. Hook came right out. Now, this hook right here can hook him anywhere. I mean, it can hook him in the throat, side of the face top of the mouth, other side, bottom of the mouth. It could hook them anywhere. Heck, it could hook them down in their intestines. And then they, the hook, trust me, if it hook, don't worry. Don't think that they'll die if the hook gets them in the intestines. If that hook hooks them in the intestines, it'll rust out of them. And when they go and take, like, a poop or something, it'll come out then. So don't worry. Don't freak out if you think that the hook will kill them if it's inside of them. No, nah, the hook will just rust out. So now, with the circle hook, the circle hook is totally different. This hook is best for, like, if you're fishing for on boats or banks and stuff like that. The fish will grab it, and he'll start swimming off with it. And as he's swimming off with it, the hook will just, the hook will just slide right, at, he'll feel that pressure, and the hook will just slide right into him, and boom, and just slide right into the corner of the mouth. 99% of the time, the hook will just slide right into the corner of the mouth. And as you can see with circle hooks, you can't back them out or hit them out because it's got that point right there. It's got that point facing inwards towards the shank of the hook. So what you want to do is, this is an easy way. You grab it down here at the shank of the hook down there. You grab it down here at the shank of the hook, just like that. And what you want to do is, you just want to rotate it out. Just like that, and bam. It comes right out. This right here is one of my favorite hooks right here to use for sharks, skates, catfish, red drums, stuff like that. Because if 99% of the time, it will hook them right in the corner of the mouth. Maybe 1% of the time, they'll gut hook. If they're really wanting that bait, they'll swallow it before you have a chance to just reel down. But with this hook, you do not yank back or you'll pull it like this. Look, see? He swallows it. If you yank back... Bang, you'll pull it out of his mouth every time. But with this hook, if you reel down, as you can see, as you can see, if you just reel down, boom, it gets him right in the corner of the mouth every time. So that's the one thing with circle hooks is you do not want to yank back. You just want to put constant pressure onto the, the line, and it'll eventually just work its way and get him right in the corner of the mouth. J hooks is the exact opposite. You do not want to just reel down, or you'll it'll just come right out of his mouth. But with J hooks, you want to you want to yank back, and that way it'll go in the corner of his mouth or throat or guts or everywhere else. But like I said, circle hooks is one of my favorite hooks to use. Alright everyone, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell every so that way you know I, every time I upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.